1957 Cadillac AM Wonder Bar. Uh, it's got all new chrome on it. He had the chrome done. And I didn't get the knobs. He took out the knobs. So these are just some I put on there to demonstrate it. Uh, redone the complete case. And it's got a full Aurora design conversion in it. Uh, AM FM stereo auxiliary in the auxiliary in which is automatic you get a male to male cord that comes in the package and this is your harness for your auxiliary in and your USB has USB port place thumb drives and charge your phone your devices you'll get a thumb drive with it with the video on it some music uh, Bluetooth hand free phone calls screen your music the whole nine yards uh, for your your uh, new phones and uh, it's got a built-in mic right behind here plus you get an extra mic in case you need it it's got four channels 45 watts a channel it's got RCA's on the back of it you want to add a sub everything's labeled for you and we're just gonna kind of show some of it right now you're on the FM now you got a little operating LED right in the center and over here you got a little stereo LED in red uh, this one changed multiple colors depending on what the radio is doing. And uh, right now you're on FM. And if you want to go to AM, you just turn it off and right back on. It takes it AM right now. Now anytime you'd like to know where you're at on AM or FM, which is real neat with the AM dial, you've got a push button that comes with it. You mount that wherever you want to, just push it. AM 650. Turn it off and right back. I'll take you right back to FM. How it's FM 89.5. Of course, we kept the Wonder Bar working. Like it's supposed to. Locally owned and operated, right? Snow this is a switch. Still works. I need you. But when flipping out. Uh, also, I didn't know if it had a foot switch or not, but the port for a foot switch is wired up in case you want to put one on it. You can do all of it with the foot switch. Let's go back to my favorite station. It's also where you can learn a little bit about Got your push button set up. All you got is pull them out and preset them. Work with these guys. Learn more at wellbuilderslive.com. And while you're there, FM 89.1. This program works because you support. Pull them out, preset it. So you go right back to it. Full time built in fader. There's your rear speakers, there's your front speakers. Balance it out. You have a balance built in your toner, balance, crossover, EQ, all built in your regular toner. And what we've done on this one, although at 57s come in, they have a toner switch. Most of the time, that switch is not really that good, but the volume control was kind of iffy on this one. So what we've done, we've changed out the potentiometer and got you a full rotating toner in it. So you can set it up without having to switch it over and do it all from the volume knob. All right, auxiliary in. All you do is pull your cable out. Plug it in. And uh, we're gonna put my phone on it. Let me get this camera over a little bit there. There we go. You can plug satellite radio, XM radio, anything that's got a device puts out a signal. I have a new phone, I had to get this little adapter here, but anyhow. Go to your music and hit play. Let's go to this one. Anytime and you notice the center LED is gone to green, that means auxiliary in. Anytime you want to go back to your radio, just turn that music off. You don't even have to unplug it, which is neat. In case you got like XM radio or whatever, you can leave it plugged in. And if you don't touch the radio in 20 seconds, it'll automatically switch back by itself. 
uh, if you want to go a little bit sooner during that 20 seconds just turn it off and right back on we're gonna let it automatically switch over which it did now on the the antenna you have on the 57s have a two-prong plug plug it back in and you've got your own hot your own power for your antenna 15 amp fuse in there wired up at your power for your power antenna pushing it pulling it up and down that's how that works all right now we're going to pair up our phone and there's two ways of doing it. You can hold this push button down so she comes on to help you out. Or turn the volume up twice. Go to your phone, go to settings, go to Bluetooth, and push your button down. Hold it. I'll show up on your phone. I got a lot of them in here, so it might take a minute on mine. used to get out of the house after Thanksgiving. Chris Knight. And then we've got Justin Towns Earl tribute tickets at Ryman, and that's for January 4th. All of that at WMOT.org. Best of luck to you. Secret Sisters with a new one doing some Woody, and it's Sturgill next. Hi, my name's John Patrick from WMOT. We'll get rid of something in there right there. We'll make, it, we'll make it work. That's what we'll do. We're going to pair the phone up. You'll do the same thing. It'll take multiple devices. It'll always pick number one. Reported public radio. Meaning almost all Hold of our budget down. from you, the member. Bluetooth ready to pair. Of w Showed up on the phone, just it's tap on it, she'll tell you when it's done. Org. Pairing completed. Bluetooth connected. All right, now we'll connect it up. Now I can go to my music, bring it up, hit play, it'll automatically change over, hit off, it'll go back. But you can use voice commands designed so you don't have this in your hand. And there's two ways of doing it. Hold this down. Bring your phone up or turn the volume up twice. Let's do a voice command. Play music. Now I'm using the mic that's in here. Now on a, on a Wonder Bar, it's pretty neat. You can change your music here. Push it once, it'll advance. Back with twice, twice will back up a repeat, or you can use your Wonder Bar. Twice. Same thing when a phone call comes in. She'll come on there and say incoming call. You can press that one time, answer your call, or this, or turn your dial up one click. Answer your call, talk when you're done, just let it hang up on its own because you don't have this in your hand if you're driving. And just uh, let it go. It'll go back to doing whatever you had it doing. That's how your Bluetooth works. Now we're gonna do a little test. Turn it off. And this is just like if you stopped somewhere and went inside, you were screaming music. When you come back to the car and you get in it and you turn it on, we want it to find it and go back to where it was. And that's what we're hoping it'll do. Radio. Bluetooth connected. Right back to where I left. All right, let's use the push button. Hold it down. Stop music. Put it pause right back to radio. That's how your Bluetooth works. Now your USB, you can hide these things. This is the harness that comes with it. Everything's labeled, plugged in. And all you do is you read your instruction because it tells you how to build files. You'll already have files on there, including the video and some music, but it'll show you how to do more. And this thing will do a whole lot more. Plug in, go straight to it. It operates the same way as your phone by changing music, advance, back up twice. Might not want to touch it, got all new chrome on it. Up, twice, back up, repeat. I can do it here. Up, back, same way with your phone. Now, there's two ways to put it in pause. You can actually take your push button, hold it one second, hold it one second, put that in pause, go back to radio. 
You can hold this button down one second, put it in pause, go back to radio. You can take the volume knob and turn it down twice and go back to radio because you went up twice to do your Bluetooth. Let's go, look, let's go back to the thumb drive by using okay. this. Right back to the thumb drive. All right, let's put it in pause using that. Let's go back to radio. I'm gonna show you how to uh, work your EQ and your crossover. All right, treble and bass. All you gotta do is take that little push button. Let's turn our loudness and our EQ on. One, two, three, hold. Loudness on. Let's do it again and keep holding it. One, two, three, hold. EQ on. Keep holding it. EQ adjust. Push it one time. EQ adjust. One more time. Treble adjust. Now go Zero. to your toner control D and set your treble up on your EQ. Kill my baby. Now that little, that little pop tells you at the center of that pop. I like just a hair on the upper side. Let her set it. Treble set plus six dB. Push it. Treble adjust. Push it. Plus six. Mid we adjust. can do mids. Zero. I don't mm. like a lot of mids. But he can't get me Mid set minus two. Now you're gonna DB. do your bass on your speakers once. Mid adjust minus Twice. two. Bass adjust. Let's go to Zero. bass DB. on our speakers. Bass set plus. Now you're gonna set your loudness up when you turn it on. Bass adjust. Loudness adjust plus 12 dB. Loudness set plus. Now if you plug in a subwoofer, you have a setting for you. Loudness adjust. Subwoofer adjust. Now we're gonna set subwoofer up. Subwoofer set plus 10 dB. Now you got a crossover. Once. Subwoofer. Twice. Adjust. Crossover. Six adjust. crossover. 120 hertz. Crossover set 160 hertz. Now you're back to normal except you have your loudness and your EQ on. <laughs> You can turn it off or turn it on. You set it up for your car or your speakers. And it's permanent, it's there. You can turn it off and turn it on once you set it up. We're gonna turn it off. You can do it here. If you're on USB or Bluetooth, you have to do it with the toner. Let's turn it off with the toner control. EQ set. She set it. One, two, three. Balance adjust. I ain't what I want. That's your balance. Balance set. All right, now we're gonna turn it off. One, two, three. EQ on. One more time. One, two, three. Loudness off. EQ off. Now you're back to normal. So if you're on radio, you can get to it and turn it on and off with the push button. If you're on USB or your Bluetooth, you use the control here. That's the original 1957 Cadillac. New chrome, cleaned up, polished, everything looking good. Full roar design in it. And I appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you.